Hello everybody, good morning. I'm just making myself a coffee. I picked up some um, innocent coconut milk from Sainsbury's yesterday. I did a little food shop. It is nearly about 10 o'clock, which usually my brain would be going crazy at me right now, but the weirdest thing has happened this morning. It just like, I'm calm. <laughs> Why does that sound so stupid to say? I've woken up and my brain isn't going crazy at myself for getting up late. I was lying in bed last night, I hadn't um, put lip balm on my lips and my inner critic like pops off like, oh you haven't um, put lip balm on your lips enough today, they're going to be dry forever, you're going to ruin them, blah blah blah, and just like catastrophizes every small little thing down to a lip balm. Anyway, it was a nice surprise to wake up without that this morning. I think maybe it's because I did like my um, evening routine properly last night and I did a meditation this morning and I also watched a School of Life video. So I spoke about it in last week's vlog, but I'm just gonna start making a nicer routine for myself instead of like, cause I caught myself, I made my to-do list last night and I caught myself dreading today like as soon as I look at a to-do list, I get anxious because I think, oh my God, what's gonna happen if I don't get through it? And I caught myself and I was like, whoa, 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 you're letting anxiety rule your day tomorrow when you haven't even lived it. But if you just chill out, Maddie, for a second. Okay, microwave, I think you need to chill out as well. Got my porridge in there. I was gonna try and make this vlog not so chatty, but hey ho, here we are, another week can't believe it's nearly Christmas. Oh my God, I found another flipping advent calendar. I was opening packages last night and I found this, which um, I got sent in a package for the Britney Spears Festive Fantasy. But it's lint chocolate. I know I said I wasn't bothered last time about chocolate, but I didn't, I wasn't really considering a calendar like this. So I'll probably open my T1 later, but I might have number seven. I can't believe it's the 5th and 7th of December today. How has this happened? Oh my God. They're like little mini uh, lints. I just, I was like looking at how many days it is until Christmas and I just don't feel Christmassy at all. I know I put my Christmas tree and stuff up like so early in November, but I think it's just the fact that like things are just a bit weird out there. I just don't, I always put pressure on myself to feel in the Christmas spirit. And then when I don't, I'm like, mm. So maybe this week I might dedicate myself, or even at the weekend actually, I might dedicate myself a festive day. The dog's button out order has just arrived today, aka Mars's favorite day, isn't it baby boy? You love this stuff. I'm intrigued to see what it says. Oh, <laughs> oh my God, they have a festive turkey Please ignore the absolute state of my mirror, but I got sent these um, underlayers from Dare to Be. Lola, what is your issue? Look at her. <laughs> I actually cleared this section of the um, office last night and there are loads of boxes down here, but we'll just ignore that and focus on these underlayers. How flipping cute are they? They're so comfy and I actually think like I would wear these as an outfit. I made it into a little crop earlier and I actually really like it like this. Anyway, I'm just about to take the dogs out for a walk. My dishwasher arrived this morning and I've also just been doing a little bit of Christmas decorating which I will show you when I get back because I need to get out and get going because I've been procrastinating with the Christmas decorations. Wasn't really on my list for today, but you know what? It's made me feel really happy. Cause you know, I was saying I wasn't really festive. It's definitely made me feel a lot more festive. I'm just currently doing something that makes me very anxious. And I thought I'd just vlog it while I'm waiting in the queue. Oh, no, I'm going. We are going. Does anyone else get really anxious going to petrol stations? <laughs> it's literally such an irrational fear, but I don't know what it is. I think it's just like, number one, there's usually loads of people around to like look at you. And like, I always get scared of like doing something wrong and then, or not having my card with me, not being able to pay. Um, and I didn't today and I was like, shit, but obviously 
Apple Pay exists, thank God. I nearly like went home so I didn't have my card. And then I was like, I've got to make sure I go to the pump that's not um, pay by card, pay at the pump. Just too many thoughts go through my mind just to get some flipping petrol. Do you know what I mean? But anyway, I've done it. So pat on the back, proud of myself for doing that because facing my fears fully aware that my kitchen is an absolute state at the moment so ignore this it's all going in my brand new dishwasher in a bit look at her she's looking great the only thing i will say is that it sticks out a little bit more than i had planned if i can get it back so like this bit is a bit more in line with the cupboards then I'll be fine. Anyway, I've got my builder coming over tomorrow because this little baby is finally going to be going in my um, lounge. So I feel like my life will have a bit more order tomorrow. But I'm excited. However, I've just gone to load her. Let me give you a, a tour of the inside. It's been on like a cycle with nothing inside it. Went to Lolo and just realised that I don't have any flipping dishwasher salt or tablets, do I? So that's great. But I'm just really, really, really happy to have a dishwasher because I flipping hate washing up. I'm just cooking myself some dinner because I really need to eat and then go to bed because I'm so flipping tired. Went to bed at 1am last night. What's wrong with me? Why can't I have an early night i just had a knock on the door and something really really exciting turned up on my door also side note my kitchen is so much brighter because i've just changed these bulbs for some like brighter white bulbs i changed the bulb in here changed the bulb in my um hallway who needs a man you know except i do need a man tomorrow to come and take out my window and um put my sofa in my lounge but let me show you the exciting thing. So, for those of you who have been keeping up with my weekly vlogs, you may have seen that I had this delivery from this um, local company that does like sweet treat um, deliveries. I didn't even know that this one was coming. I knew the last one was coming, but literally a guy turned up on my doorstep with like a bag with cakes inside. And I was like, oh my god, thank you. Good morning. Actually, no, it's not. It's not even the morning. It's one o'clock. Don't ask what's going on with my hair. Three of my extensions fell off, fell off, fell out last night, um, just after I washed my hair. I didn't do anything out of the ordinary that I haven't been doing. I just think they're getting to the stage where they need to be retaped. So fingers crossed my hairdresser can fit me in before Christmas to do that for me. Anyway, behind me, there is a space, which means, I don't think I've actually ever been so happy for a piece of furniture in my house to be in the correct position. I'm exhausted. I spent the whole morning. So I had the window guy come down. He took the window out. It looked like this. And then basically <laughs> my builder came over to help him like lift it through the window. It was the funniest thing. I put it on my story. So I'll um, insert a little clip on um the screen now but basically they just had to like feed it through the window and i just thought it was really really funny tada so the light is so bad today which is so annoying so i was trying to take a photo and it's just really dull even with the light on i don't like it when the light's on because it makes it look really um yellow but anyway we'll keep it on because it's so dark so i got my little christmas tree but look what happened because i moved the tree um, I was actually going to say that um, thank you guys who suggested folding the top branch in half to fit my star on because it actually does work. Obviously right now I need to resurrect her. Um, but on my fireplace, I was supposed to show you guys this yesterday but didn't get around to it. Um, I have wreath number one. I've got two wreaths. Um which is just from a shop from Etsy. I wanted to get one that matched um, like the interior of the house. This was gonna go on my front door. However, I actually got sent another one as a surprise from my brother and his girlfriend for like a Christmas birthday present. 
Um, so I've put that on the front door because I thought this one goes really well with my lounge. And the front door one is like um, more reds and greens, but I love it. It's literally stunning. And um, I'm just going to dry it out and keep it for next year. I also bought these candlesticks from Sainsbury's the other day. I think I'm going to get some either black or gold candles to go in them. Here she is. I'm literally so happy. It goes perfectly in this room. And I've put this rug in, which was just my old lounge rug. Obviously, it's too small for this space. And I also just went upstairs because it was in my bedroom to see that Lola has been sick here and here. So, I mean, I did put some carpet stain remover on it, but I think I'm going to have to do some more. Um, so, yeah, I need to figure out the cushion situation on this sofa because I'm not really happy with... Um, how the cushions look. I definitely need to get a couple more. I want to get some more like um, embroidered ones with like pitch. I don't really know how to describe it, but with like pictures on. But that's that. And then I've just got my little monkey table, my IKEA lamp in this corner. I'll probably switch this around a million times until I'm happy with it. I also bought this pussy willow. I don't know why I find that name so funny. I'm so mature. Um, from Tesco the other day, it was like three pounds a bunch, and I bought I think I bought four bunches um, to pop in this little vase. I've literally wanted this sofa for so long. It's literally my dream sofa, and the fact that it's in my lounge, like I actually can't believe it. It's the loaf bagsy sofa for anyone that's wondering. In I can't remember what the colour was, but it's like a, a dark grey velvet. It took flipping ages to get here, but it's finally here, and I just love like with the cushions. I love that they're so squishy. I don't know what's inside here, but really squishy, and I wanted one with a high back. And I'm gonna move all these cushions that I've just so nicely laid out because they take up too much space on this sofa. Oh my God. I feel like I could literally nap right now. I'm so tired. I might just bring my laptop in here and work on the sofa for the day. So yesterday afternoon took a little bit of a turn. Um, Obviously I got my new sofa in and everything and I was so happy and I sat down on my sofa to watch some Netflix and literally fell asleep so I was so exhausted I mean I haven't really been sleeping properly <clears throat> for a while now anyway um, when I woke up I felt so ill just felt run down hot and cold headache etc you know the standard however I then had this cough um, kind of panicked because usually I get ill in the winter and you know sometimes it comes with a cough but obviously at the moment with coronavirus being around and I was like shit what am I going to do about Christmas going home etc so I rang my mum she was like just book a test so that's where I'm off to I'm off to get a coronavirus test I mean fingers crossed it's not here but I'd rather be safe than sorry you know because if I need to self-isolate then I will it's so funny because my local testing center is at Poulton's Park I literally haven't been here <laughs> I can't even remember the last time I was here maybe like when I was like 10 but it's so annoying because it's literally just down the road from Jade's house and I can't even pop in because obviously if I've got it I mean the thing is though if I've got it then she's definitely got it because we we're in a bubble together you know so we'll tackle that when it comes to it hopefully when my results come back tomorrow um I'll just let her know and then she can literally let it pop down let's do this oh my god there's so much stuff in here Jesus Christ my brain doesn't work like never mind doing this flipping test myself Okay, we got the swab. One inch up your nose. Oh my god, my eyes are literally watering from that one. I've been on this sofa all afternoon. Honestly, I flipping love my lounge right now. It feels so cozy. It feels like my body was like, okay, like you've got your lounge sorted. Now you're allowed to be ill. Um, anyway, I did a online Asda order. I also ordered some juices, like some green juice and ginger and turmeric shots and stuff like that. And I also 
ordered from this company that does like meal preps. I actually am enjoying like just watching my series, which is Virgin River, by the way, if you haven't watched it. I would highly recommend they've just brought out the second season so i'm just watching that now i think when i'm ill it's easier for me to like allow myself time off and time to look after myself so maybe that's what this is i always try and look at the reasons as to why these things have happened so my mindset is positive i feel so chill i feel so comfy so i'm just gonna eat my dinner and go to bed but look how cute my christmas tree is looking i still haven't flipping put the star up have i, I think it's just gonna stay like that for for a while good morning everybody literally slept in until half 11 this morning which was bliss i haven't done that in so long anyway um today i'm gonna set myself the task of sorting out my bedroom it is gonna be pretty much the last room of my house to get done but i still want to make it kind of like bedroom i'm gonna like shove some stuff up in my loft and just like do a general sort out first mince pie of december absolutely destroyed it i know it doesn't look like much but i have made progress in here i have whittled down my lipsticks well the ones that were all in this box to just four i feel like there was like double that beforehand and then oh this is my new loft ladder by the way cleared this whole space i've popped um some makeup and stuff over here and i've also sorted through my wardrobe so i don't know whether i've shown you guys these um since they've been done this one still needs um a bit more work i would say i think i need a shelf on here but the lights honestly make such a difference with this wardrobe this is my favorite section I've just spent um, this afternoon doing this drawer as well, going through all my sunglasses and believe it or not, this is not even all my sunglasses. So this is as far as I could sort it today. I've got like everyday sunglasses, some coloured funky ones and then some more funky ones but I absolutely love being able to see all my jewellery like this. I've whittled down like my rings so much as well. This is all of my rings because i think what i've realized with my jewelry is that i used to buy so much stuff from like pretty little thing boohoo whatever when in actual fact like if i saved all of that like 10 pound here and there i could have bought nice jewelry and that's what i've done now like i've invested in nice jewelry that doesn't um fade like these bracelets on my wrist these ones um were like a bit more expensive but they last and i can wear them in the shower and it's the same for my necklaces i won't show you the state of me right now and also i've got this strip going down here because i don't know if you guys watched my last one where you could see like a gap i like that there's a strip um but the lights make such a difference with the corner wardrobe because i can actually see what's in there and there's so much space so i'm just trying to figure out what to do with the coat situation if i can actually try and find a way to fit them into this wardrobe um but i also got a few more shelves i think i'm gonna get a couple more as well for my trainers because obviously they're um shorter than my boots so i've got like larger shelves and then it goes to smaller shelves down the bottom i think i'm probably just gonna get another one across here but i need to go to ikea anyway um for a trip because i need to take this stuff back i just ordered one extra light and i got the wrong drawer all of this stuff needs to go to charity or i think i'm gonna do a giveaway because i was looking through all this stuff and there's some really cool bits good morning everybody guess what it's negative Ooh. mars is barking downstairs to be let out because he knows i'm up let's go in um let him out and have a little chat Marzi, guess what guess what i'm negative yes how exciting oh my god oh my god hello did you have a good sleep were you a good boy yeah you were so today's tea for my tea calendar is one called post party refresh I mean, I guess it might help me get over this illness. I guess it'll be full of good stuff. Um, I've just... This Hoover, honestly, 
always gets quick and stuff. I've decided today I want to have a Christmassy day, so I'm gonna watch a load of Christmas films on the sofa and actually get everyone's presents ordered. Because I'm just a last minute Christmas shopper. Like, I just always leave it to the last minute. But I'm going to try and do it today because I don't want to be doing all my Christmas shopping on Amazon. I want to try and support small businesses as much as possible. But I don't really know whether I've missed the window now, but we'll see. Also, I've been drinking these drinks every morning. And I honestly think they have helped a bit. I mean... I've gone from literally lying on the sofa, not being able to do anything, not being able to move, to yesterday, like, reorganising my whole wardrobe and bedroom. I mean, I think I took it too far. Like, I was literally exhausted after that. I just thought I'd show you in case you're interested. They're called Calm Days, and they're supposed to balance you out. As for balance and bliss, they've got adaptogens and electrolytes in them. But the really good ingredient that's in them is ashwagandha powder. They also have, like, magnesium, potassium um beta carotene a load of good stuff and it basically it's peach lemonade so it tastes like lemonade so i just put it in still water you can put it in sparkling water but i've also added like a bit of lemon juice into it because it's quite sweet i just like my lemonade to be a bit more sharp my asda order has just arrived actually i put that i was self-isolating so they left it outside my front door which i actually kind of prefer i might just say that i'm self-isolating for everything because yeah anyway so it's just a small order of things because obviously i didn't want to go to the shop um whilst i was unsure about um my covid situation but the main reason i did this was for these oh god for my dishwasher so i can actually put it on these are supposed to be really good but i just got some like ginger beer I got some actual ginger so I can do like honey, lemon and ginger and then salad, kitchen roll. Oh, this kitchen roll is like Christmassy and it's in recyclable paper packaging. Love that. Also, whenever I'm ill, I always go for these um, cold and flu ones, the ones without caffeine in them. These ones are the best, honestly. I can't even tell you how excited I am. All oh, my juices have arrived. I've just seen on the back of these, how cute is this? They've got the Mind logo, which is the mental health charity on the back of this. Love that. Honestly, I feel like I need to down this whole entire box of juice. These are honestly the best things ever. I just wanna well and truly make sure that this cold has gone. These are the only types of shots I'm gonna be doing until Christmas. I tell you, I don't think I'm actually gonna drink. Woo! Oh my God. That'll put some hairs on your chest, as they say. Jesus. Ginger, cayenne pepper, and lemon. Oh, I can feel it working already. <laughs> my bad has also come. And that's my price man. God, it's all happening. Honestly, it's like Christmas in this house this week. I've got so many packages. I need to actually open some. God, why is the why is the light like this? And it's like half one, two o'clock. I've just um, put today's lunch in the microwave. I've gone for the garlic butter halloumi. So we'll see what it tastes like. I'm so excited for this. I also completely forgot that the juice package I ordered came with soups. So I feel like I've literally got my meals for the next couple of weeks sorted. Actually being such a slob and having it from the container. But hear me out. All my plates are in the dishwasher. <laughs> which has another two hours to go christmas movie day so i have officially <laughs> reached i think the absolute bottom of the barrel with christmas films Mars! thank you oh no i've been in my dressing gown all day i just feel so flipping exhausted again today but i actually have got so much done like just so much ordered i've pretty much wrapped up all of my christmas presents some of them arrived today actually and i had quite a few exciting deliveries today <laughs> you'll get to see them in the next couple of vlogs hopefully um they come in time because i am going up to my parents obviously just before christmas but yeah i've ordered like a rug for the dining room i've ordered load of like decorative bits from oliver bonus i've ordered all my christmas stuff 
um, like Christmas wrapping and stuff. It's gonna look so cute this year. So definitely next week I'm gonna have a day of like wrapping everyone's gifts up. Oh my God, my hair. So there are many, many occasions where I am grateful to do the job that I do. And one of the perks that comes along with it is getting sent stuff. So I've just opened a load of blogger mail and it's basically just set me up for the best evening ever. So I've decided that I'm gonna go and run myself a bath, put on a face mask, light a candle. Um, I've got some more mince pies as well. And I've got this pillow as well. I'll show you, cause I'm gonna go put it on my bed now, but I've got this pillow that is a speaker pillow. So essentially you connect it to your phone and you can listen to stuff through the pillow which is great for me because I listen to meditations, podcasts, whatever it is to get to sleep in the evening. Also, I don't know if you guys remember in last week's um, vlog where I got that package from Isla that had loads of amazing bits in it. Well, this was in it. It was a build your own mini Christmas tree. So I did this this morning. I planted it. Um, there's like um, soil and moss in here. And then I put some little cute lights on it and the baubles, mini, mini baubles. They're so cute, but I just thought it looks so good, like in the middle of my table. I also forgot about this calendar. I've got four chocolates that I completely forgot to eat, which are the Lindor chocolates. Oh, I've just got flipping soil on my hands. I need to clean that table properly. Um... So I'm going to take these to the bath as well. Also, just to keep you up to date with the very thrilling tea calendar. Today's tea. Well, isn't this a delightful evening? This pillow is such a good idea. Honestly, I didn't know how it was gonna work and I also didn't know because it's quite hard like whether I was gonna like sleeping on it, but I did. So basically, you plug your phone into this and you can plug your charger into here as well so it can charge your phone at the same time. Um, and then, yeah, like the speaker's basically on your ears. So I just listened to my meditation on the car map and honestly, don't even ask me what's going on with my hair. I did wash it last night in the bath, but. <laughs> so, basically today I've just been binge watching The Crown, but I'm just about to brave the weather and take the dogs out. It's not great today. As always, thumbs up for this video. I'm definitely feeling like a lot better today. I've been absolutely downing, flipping celery juice, the ginger shots and everything. So, yeah, I mean, hopefully next week I'll be up to actually, like, seeing people. <laughs> Love you all. See you soon. Goodbye.